everybody, it's Tamika. I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys some tags that I created. And I wanted to make a couple sets here. Um, and maybe you guys will grab your dies. I know for me, my dies are literally just sitting around and I don't use them as often as I like. So I figure I'd pull them out. I'm getting some teacher sets ready for school and I wanted to make some some dies, um, gift sets and things like that, or tag gift sets for um, the teachers for this coming fall. It's a quick and easy project to do. It probably doesn't cost you anything because you have all the supplies on hand and it's really fast, package up really quick and the recipient will like it and it's useful which is what I love. So all I did was grab some dies that I think I can build upon and all of my dies are in this container so they're not specified as by brand or anything. I know there's spell binders, there's memory box I think um, some word dies, some things I've collected, gotten from garage sales. But whatever you have, just find something that you can just build upon um, and make, you know, make a dimensional tag. So I start out with the biggest size, and this is the size that I want to go with is for my gift tag. And then I just find some some dies to go on top of it, and pretty much hope it looks right. So you'll just need some scissors and some adhesive. You need some uh, pop dots, and I'm. Don't know if I'll use these pearls. I may not even need them. And some hot glue. That's it. Of course, if you want to use shimmer or all that stuff, you can do that as well. So I've already pre-cut the dies. So you want to cut your bottom die in a couple layers of cardstock, white cardstock, so you can write two from on the back or some chipboard. If you're able to um, cut, use your thin dies to cut chipboard. If you have lightweight chipboard, so you want to cut a couple of those out, and then of course your base layer. And I am using um, some paper from Dovecraft called Floral Muse. Really cute paper, 6x6 designer paper pack. And so I just have that as my base. You can use your 6x6 paper pads up. This would be a great way for those paper pads you thought was cute, but then eh, fill it, make some tags and you're good to go. So that's going to be my base layer. And then I'm going to add some glossy accents to that. It works it works fast for me. Um, you can also of course use ATG tape if you'd want to do that. Some of my dies are you know they have different shapes and designs that the, the ATG tape would just get on my nerves I'm trying to work it around the edge. So just want to do that. It goes fast, guys. I mean, you can make a nice quick set after you get done cutting the dies and all that in about a half an hour, start to finish, probably, as long as you get your dies out. So that's going to be my base. And then this is going to be the next layer. But what I'm going to do with that is pop it up on the dimensional. And I'm using um, Forever in Time Pop Dots. You can use chipboard or what have you. So I'm just going to, I'm going to take this out the package. It'll be a lot easier for me. I think I can do that. And I'm just going to put these in the middle. Not a lot of heavy stuff is going to be loaded, just pattern paper. So you don't need to fill up the entire back with dimensional. And I always like to add a dot of hot glue to secure everything. Layer it right on top done and I like this little star shape here so I'm just going to add that kind of right there and on top of that I'm going to add this flower that I cut out flower die add a pop dot to the back and then add some hot glue to that boom and that's just going to go right in the middle And then I have a little flower, swirly flower here. I'm going to bring out my little pad. And all I'm going to do is just curl these edges over a little bit. And I will add a um, pearl in the center here. See? And I can just add that to the center. And then I have my hello. So I figure out where I want to put that last. Put that dead center of that flower. And then I'm going to, I normally would spray 
this with some um, spray adhesive, but I don't have any more left. So I'm just going to add glossy accents to this little middle part where I know that it will stick to the rose. Okay, and there we have it. And I forgot to mention that you would need some hole reinforcers if you're going to punch a hole. Otherwise, you could um, fit your tag underneath one of these layers or your string underneath one of these layers and then attach it with some hot glue while you're making it. And I'll do one um, to show you how that looks too. Either way is fine. Hole reinforcers I get from the dollar store. You get 544 for a dollar. I've probably been working on this particular pack for a couple years, so they don't go anywhere too fast. And I just put one on the front and one in the back. And then I'm using some um, twine jute to me. To use as my tag. Or not my tag. My, you know, my hang. To use it to hang my tag. So, do it the other way. I'm going to fold it thread it through the hole and then loop it through. I think it makes it a little bit more neater. Like that. And then the recipient can just, you feel free to, before you adhere everything to from on the back so that they know that to, you know, that it's a tag. And then there we go. That's the first one. Alright. Now let's just make a nice set and got three more to go. All right, for this next one, I'm going to be using this particular frame as my base. Kind of give it uh, mix and match, different shapes, different sizes. Um, you know, try to do that. And then I'm using the square to kind of fit inside there. And then hopefully that flower will fold up really nicely. I'm using this cute little flower die in um, this rectangular piece here. And the word love. I, like I said, I randomly just grab some dies and let's go. So I already cut out my pieces, of course. And I'm just going to add the glossy accents to the base. And then I have this piece that's going to be next. Unless this piece is too big. So let's just see. I'm going to... Just curl it up a little bit. It'd be nice if I could find my uh, the, the molding tools that I have, but I think I have it somewhere in a, a bag where I was going to make some flowers, but this will work too. Curl that up, so that'll be fine. Up to the side, and then um, we have this little flower piece here. And then we're going to tuck in these pieces. I think they're super cute. I cut them out twice. I'll tuck that out there just to add some dimension. And then we have the word love here. Okay. I'm actually going to push this down just a little bit. All right. So let's build this up. three in the middle and then take the backs off and add some hot glue all right that layers there okay. before we go any further I'm going to I'm going to do this one again as a hole punch all right my hole punch and my hole reinforcers that part taken care of. Next thing is this, uh, actually these two little things here. Just kind of figure out where you want to place those. Okay. And then I'm going to add glue to the underside of this flower. And that's going to hold all of those pieces together. 
I'm going to add a pop dot to the middle of that while the glue is still hot. And then I put the hot glue in the back of this to add to this pop dot. Really easy. And then we'll put a little pearl in the center here. And then we can add the word love. Really easy. Simple and easy. And we add some twine. Jute, not twine, I keep saying that. Thread through. And done. Look how cute that is. You can add stickles and all that stuff later, which we will do. But if you want, you don't have to. Okay, let's move on to the next tag. All right, the next tag, we're going to build upon this base of this scalloped um, oval. And then I have another little layered scallop oval that's a little bit smaller. And yet another one, kind of like a set. So if you have a set, that works out very well. I'm going to use these corner leaves such like that and then I have a banner it's gonna go like that and then I have a word die that's a smile it's just gonna go like that isn't it cute super cute so here we go aren't these going fast I don't even think only thing I'm editing probably is I couldn't find the pop dots but yeah it's real time or as close to real time as you can get So even if you do this, you know, cut all the dies out and all your extra scrap pieces, that'll be a good project. Like if you have not enough to make a card, but you really like the paper, just start a little scrap bucket and then you can make these tags with your leftovers. So use your leftover scrap pieces to create cute little gift sets. So that's that. And then this is the one I'll show you. You don't even need the hole punch or the hole reinforcer. You can just add your tag with the glue directly. So I'm just going to add a little hot glue there. And then I'm just going to add this. Like that. Alright. While that's there, I'm going to add a little here. I don't want it to go too high because I don't want the hot glue peeking out. But I want it to be stable enough to hang on the end of a gift. So that's that. Okay. And then we're going to add some pop dots to the back of this circle. I'll probably edit out how long it's taking me to take the backs of them adhesive dots off. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's on there. Super cute. And then again, let's see, you want to do it this way? Yeah. I'm going to take out my mat really fast and just kind of give these a little, a little curl up. Just to add a little dimension to that. Probably should do it the opposite way, but I'm flip that over. I'm going to fold that over and do it like that. I'm going to add some glue to that. Add that there. And then we're going to add this piece here. Like I said, these are really dimensional tags, which I love. And they stand out. hot glue to the back of that plop that right on top next thing is this banner now we're not going to add dimension to that it's, it's high enough as it is so 
we we'll just put that right on top there evenly and then add some glossy accents to the back of this word in there of course we'll add shimmer and stuff later but that's the end of that tag simple and cute right let's go on to tag number four all right the last and final tag I'm going to use this die really cute nice size die I'm going to layer it with this one it's going to be a another quick and easy tag and then I have that's like a little set and then I have another set that's good if you have your set dies just layer them up and these are um, a set of flowers and then I have my word it's laugh it's gonna be really easy to build this one so but yeah that's a good idea if you have just sets or you know um, everything is is offset and you can just layer them that'll make it a lot easier I'm just getting out some of these pieces from the die cut that didn't release all right there we go. and then the next one is this one this paper is so so pretty that's going to be layered on top of there like that um, I think I'm going to do the same thing with the jute as I did before since there's not really a place to put a hole and a hole reinforcer put a little glue a lot of glue and then put that down there like so now we're going to use some dimensionals and I'm going to add some hot glue to the back that and I'm going to add these flowers this base one I'm not going to add a, um, a pop dot to I'm just going to set that over there like such and then these little flower these little petals kind of pop up and this is the next layer I'm going to add a dimension to the bottom with some hot glue. But I'm going to offset the petals. Oh, wait. Offset the petals a little bit. And bring the petals up on these as well. And then we're going to offset those petals. Cute. and then we'll add laugh to here I'm going to add my glossy accents super bright there we go that's that one really really cute so I'm going to I'm going to grab um, me some stickles and some shimmer spray and I'm going to give these a little bit of quick love and attention and so far this video took me 22 minutes now I don't know if I'll edit it any smaller than that but this is how fast it went guys so um, I'll be right back all right so here are the finishing tags I have shimmered them um, they're super cute this lighting I don't know what's going on guys but I've added stickles this one I added a little pearl to um, like I said I've shimmered them really good they're super shiny and they have that piece of sparkle you don't have to add um, stickles to like the whole thing I just add them at the spark or the high points so like at the tips of the flowers things like that and then the last one 
super cute and um, that's easy super easy super fast cut your dies out and just go with it so I challenge you guys to make yourself some tags with some layering of some dies I think that'll be um, something fun that you can do and give as a gift or give to another crafty friend I made a couple other sets um, this is one set I haven't I'm not done packaging it but this is the idea that I have but I made this using another um, shabby chic paper super cute like I just love 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 these tags I ended up whitewashing like all this paper really really cute to give those away and then I also um, had them in some fun summer colors too super cute so um try those out guys let me know what you think and if you do decide to challenge yourself i'd love to see them thank you guys so much for watching like the video if you like it bye